you're gonna, so you're gonna stimulate it with your knuckles. And I use my knuckles um, to save my hand, but so to treat the medial knee with the ipsilateral elbow, you are going to, um, to take your knuckles, patient supine, on by the side, elbow flex to 30 degrees, and you're gonna push straight down like this, okay? And you're gonna make big circles. I'm gonna get uh, my net here, my assistant come, to come out here and, and kind of help me so I can demonstrate this for you. Yeah, come on now. All right, so, can I see your elbow uh, your right there? Now, can we see your leg? No, we cannot. Um, can you back up? No, you want to put like, like the right leg up on this, and maybe we can, there you go. Okay with that? Mm -hmm. see. Um, okay, so, you want to position her like this. Pretend like she's on her back. We've got to do it on her back, okay? And then this right here is a map of the medial knee. Right in, in here is a map of the medial knee. Joint line to joint line, okay? So at 30 degrees of flexion, okay? You take a goniometer, 30 degrees of flexion, like that, okay? Um, and then what you're going to do, so if she's, if she's lying on her, her back like this, what you're going to do is take your knuckles and be gentle because this can be a, a sore spot on a lot of people. And you're going to push straight straight down. So the angle of pressure is, is, is kind of like straight down into the mat, okay? And you're going to grip the skin with two, with two knuckles. And you are going to make as big of circles as you can, okay? And I would do it for one minute. So I teach you one minute. So, so like this, okay, for one minute, okay? And then move down. So you just did like these, this right here. But, I, but then you're going to have to move down like two knuckles below that. So like that for one minute, okay, like this for one minute, okay, like this for one minute, and like this for one minute, okay. Now what you'll find when you're, when you're treating uh, a patient with, with a medial knee pain, if they're, if they're supine, you start stimulating these points and it's going to shut it off immediately. So you can say, go ahead and bend your knee, and they'll start to bend their knee and ask them better, worse, or same. Or you can probably see their range of motion, or you can just measure it too, you can take the goniometer. So, um, so you're gonna, so I would stimulate all in, all in here, okay? Now, when you have my map, you'll have an exact point. So, a patient will say, you know, oh, it doesn't hurt here anymore, now it hurts, you know, more up in here. Meaning that you relieve the pain here, but it hurts more up in, in here. Now, it always hurt there, but this is, uh, this is gone, and the brain is starting to interpret this now, so what you would do is just move up a little bit and start stimulating there. But for the sake of teaching this on this video, um, this is you know this is how you do it. So um, so like that, patient supine arm on the side, elbow flex to 30 degrees, okay, and I would stimulate in here for one minute, and here for one minute, and here for one minute, okay, and here for one minute, and here for one minute, and here for one minute, and here for one minute. So uh, thank you, appreciate it. So then have them bend their knee and tell me better worth. Better works the same. Um, so these results are instantaneous. This isn't like uh, you know, like I want to know how you're you know doing a day from now or two days from now. 